Welcome to the past video on living in Canada. My name is Michael Levy, and I'm a co-director of the PASS program, which prepares students for the Canadian CPA exams. The video which you are about to watch is intended for Indian CAs who are interested in immigrating to Canada. The video will give you a taste of what it's like to live in Canada. This video is an excerpt from a larger live presentation delivered to Indian CPAs and deals with living in Canada from both a personal as well as a professional perspective. Among other things, it deals with job prospects and salaries you can expect to earn in Canada. The video was delivered by Dweep Mehta, an Indian CA who is now both living and working in Canada. Dweep has been very involved in the Indian CA Canadian community. He is the past chairman of the Toronto chapter of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and is currently serving a three-year term on its managing committee as a director. Dweep has completed his Canadian CPA and was a former student of PASS. Dweep begins his presentation with a description of his experience with PASS and then moves on to discuss what it's like to live in Canada. I hope you will enjoy this video. Just before starting, I'd like to thank, of course, Ira, yourself, uh, Michael, uh, Krishanji, and uh, Sharmili Ji for giving me this opportunity. Uh, so, good morning to you guys in Canada and good evening to everyone in India. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, you know, seeing so many questions. Uh, it's kind of uh, overwhelming. Uh, so, basically, I, I, I came to Canada uh, five years back. Uh, I, I currently live in uh, a city called Mississauga. It's in the province of Ontario. Uh, the ship uh, uh, earlier this month, uh, sorry, earlier this year. So, so it's a, it's a good, uh, good feeling, you know, uh, I think everybody is looking for that and probably Aman is waiting for his citizenship as well. So, uh, well, I, I started my immigration process in 2013. So that was, uh, uh, before even the express entry came into existence. So it took me about a year or so back then it, it was a time consuming process. Uh, but luckily I got my PR in uh, 10 months. But, but I'm glad they, they sped up the process uh, with the express entry. And like, like Aman said, you know, everybody gets their PR within six to eight months. So, so that's a good, good thing. You know, we can plan our lives accordingly and for the better, right? So uh, like, like uh, uh, Ira mentioned, uh, I, I passed my CPA in September, 2016. And uh, well, I had joined PASS. So Michael and Ira have been uh, like really great teachers. Uh, Ira had shared uh, some slides about uh, uh, <clears throat> the the testimonials, and one of them was mine. So, like, if if you can, like, whenever you visit the website, you'll probably read my testimonial there. Uh, I I enrolled with them for their coaching and guidance, which which actually helped me a lot to clear the CPA. Like, I had no idea what the CPA was, case writing was. So, so their mentorship, their guidance, it helped me a lot for sure, and. Uh, uh, I had to go through the capstone one and two. I, I did not have the the exemption back then in 2016. Uh, luckily, we we got the MOU renewed in 2018. So that's that's a good thing. And uh, I'm glad you guys could enjoy the benefits now. Uh, so let me jump on to the discussion. Uh, it's like I, I, I did read all the questions and uh, hopefully I can answer them uh, through my slides. If not, obviously, we'll we'll answer them later on. So what is it like to live in Canada? This is like kind of a first question which comes to anybody's mind. Uh, before I answer, I would just like to give a brief history about myself. I, I basically come from Mumbai and uh, I my, my answers would be like comparing my life in Mumbai to uh, right now in Mississauga. So now Canada, Canada is like considered a developed country, you know, the standard of living uh, it's, it's pretty high with a better quality of life, uh, good infrastructure, including the roads, the transit systems, uh, less traffic, less population, less pollution, uh, good schools, uh, excellent government services, you know, the healthcare, uh, strict laws over the cleanliness, I would say, you know, there are a lot of fines if you litter, uh, relatively low crime rate, I wouldn't say no crime, it's low, and uh, of course, uh, excellent work-life balance. A very fearful aspect uh, for all immigrants is the weather, particularly the harsh winters. Now, it's true that the winters are harsh, 
you know, with the heavy snowfall. But, and of course, it is challenging for someone coming from Mumbai, you know, it's a hot place to acclimatize themselves. But uh, people living in the northern parts of India would, would relatively find it easy to adjust uh, the Canadian winters. But it's, it's, it's quite easy to, you know, get used to the winter. Uh, like the first winter I had was actually had a snowstorm. And uh, luckily, I, I had bought my snow jackets just a day before. So, so it has all the, all the things you need, your jackets, your boots, your gloves, the masks, uh, earmuffs, whatever you call it, you know, it has everything. So it's, it's kind of uh, easy to, you know, get used to the win uh, winter here. Uh, but of course, like when you go to the Western part of uh, Canada, like, like BC, uh, it's, it's a lot uh, less harsh. I, I, I would say like le very less snowfall, much, much better place. Uh, if, if you like the beaches and if you like the summers, it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, so just to give you a bit of uh, a background about, I'm sure most of you must be knowing it, but uh, just in case for people who don't know it, like there are four distinguished seasons here, uh, you know, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And uh, well, uh, it is uh, like we are in the fall right now. You know, if you, if you just go online, you can see you know, beautiful fall weather, the photos, the, the, the colors of the leaves changing and all. It's, it's a beautiful uh, sight. And, uh, uh, well, I mean, the summer is, this year, obviously, it was pretty hot. You know, it, the temperatures go, go up to 35, 38 degrees. And now, again, I'm, I'm talking about uh, Ontario, the province of Ontario here. Uh, and uh, the winters, you know, they could go up to minus 20 degrees. So uh, it's it's fun, you know, uh, living in all the seasons. Uh, your your closet keeps on changing uh, with all the different uh, clothes and boots and everything. So it's 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 kind of fun. <clears throat> and uh, of course, uh, like talking about uh, you know the 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 people people coming from uh, you know like across the globe to Canada, you know it it it's a very welcoming country. Uh, you know, people of all you know, religions and uh, uh, cultures, you know, like equal, equal rights to everyone. There's no discrimination. So I, I kind of uh, like the equality being given to uh, all, all types of people. <clears throat> now, the second question is, like most of you asked on the chat, is about the job market and the scope for uh, Indian CAs. Uh, well, as regards the job market, there are a lot of opportunities for uh, especially after uh, getting the CPA designation. And also for Indian CAs, there is, uh, you know, a lot of scope for growth. Uh, so anyone coming to Canada with the designation stands a better chance of getting hired than a person like me. I just came as a CA. I, I got a job and then I did my CPA. So obviously the first job you get might not be what you were doing in India, right? So you have to be open to work at a, a junior level or, or a, an entry level position, you know, just to get that Canadian experience. Uh, it's not a bad, it's, uh, not a bad thing, you know, like I, I could actually feel the difference between working in India and in Canada. It's, it's a culture difference. It's not about uh, the knowledge. It's all about the culture. <clears throat> so uh, uh, like the experience you had during your articleship will, will also be considered, you know, as, as uh, uh, some, some experience, uh, you know, for jobs. Again, again, uh, it all depends on the employer and uh, like what their requirements are. So if, if they're okay, you know, to hire a, a fresh CA, it's fine. Like usually some CPA firms do hire uh, uh, just the Indian CA, not, not uh, pursuing the CPA, you know, for uh, basic tax returns or basic accounting jobs and all. So, <clears throat> but, uh, but uh, like to, in order to grow, uh, uh, for sure, the CPA designation is a must because I've seen people who did not uh, get the, the necessary promotion just because they did not have the CPA. Like they have been with the company for almost 10 years, but ultimately the company wants them to do the CPA in order to get that required promotion. So, so, if, you, so if you come to Canada with the CPA designation, you will definitely be one of the candidates which uh, matches the employer's requirements. And, and you'll definitely have a better chance of uh, getting the job 
uh, as compared to a new immigrant without a CPA. Now, uh, <clears throat> I, I also uh, I read a few questions about the, the salary and everything. So let me just go through that. Uh, now, this is from the 2020 salary guide uh, of uh, a recruitment agency uh, here in Canada. So if you can see uh, the finance and accounting roles, the salaries range from 73,000, you know, from a financial analyst, that's, that's like a, a, a junior level position uh, from 73,000 to the CFO is almost like 240,000. This is all uh, Canadian dollars and uh, annual uh, salaries. Uh, similarly for tax, it's from 76,000 to 180,000. Internal audit is 74 to 185. And uh, in the public accounting, like the, the, the big fours and everything, it's uh, about 66,000 to 205,000. So, you know, you, you can, and this is obviously after the CPA, right? So, so you, you, you'd get an idea of uh, how much uh, a CPA earns, you know, just a starting position. And uh, if you ask me how much an Indian CA earns with a basic uh, uh, entry level job, I would say between 40 to 60,000. Again, it all depends on the employer, the role. So I, I have a few friends who just got basic accounting positions. They, they, they started with like 40, 45,000, 50,000. So, you know, you can definitely uh, have an edge over these people if you, if you get your CPA. And uh, it's better to get it early, like, like Ira said. Uh, I'd also like to share a few fun facts. Uh, this this uh, information I got uh, from the Consul General of India here in Toronto. Uh, so there are more than uh, 1.6 million Indians living in Canada with uh, more than 225,000 students. Uh, you know, it, this makes them the largest percentage of uh, international students studying in uh, Canada. There are more than 700,000 Indians working on uh, the Canadian work permit. Now, popular cities targeted by Indians for settlement are uh, like, uh, I'm talking about the province of Ontario here is uh, Toronto, Brampton, Mississauga, the Scarborough and Markham in the East End. And all of this is uh, considered in the greater Toronto area. Now, other places uh, like, uh, like I think Ira mentioned, uh, include Calgary and Edmonton in, uh, in the province of Alberta and uh, Vancouver in the province of British Columbia. Uh, there's one more place, uh, not so much uh, popular, but uh, I still uh, uh, see many people going there is uh, Halifax, which is in the province of Nova Scotia. So, you know, there, there are so many places which you can uh, explore. Uh, like these are the most popular places which actually have, uh, uh, you know, good job opportunities and uh, opportunities for growth. Uh, I also know, not personally, but I know that there are several ministers in the federal and provincial governments who are of Indian origin and who are also CPAs, you know, so uh, like what I'm talking about is it's, it's not a, it's not only about uh, getting your uh, job in your field, say accounting audit or tax or whatever, you can also go in politics. So, <laughs> you know, CPAs, a CPA definitely helps you in uh, changing your field if you want. And uh, Canada gives you all the opportunities to try something new. Uh, so I would say, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, venture into a new, uh, you know, some try something new. It's it's perfectly all right. Uh, the next one is how do I connect with fellow Indian CAs in Canada? Now I would like to start with the the Toronto chapter of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Uh, now, just to give you a background about the global chapters, I think there are more than 30 chapters across the globe. Uh, so ICAI has, has uh, you know, footprint in almost uh, all the major countries. So, and uh, like, like Ira said, I am on the managing committee right now. And I uh, just completed my chair, uh, uh, my chairmanship uh, this earlier this year. Uh, and uh, of course, if I, if I talk about PASS, uh, you know, PASS has always been a great supporter of the chapter and they have been uh, one of our sponsors. So it's, it's, it's great working together with uh, Michael and Ida. Like from me being a student, now we are like partners. So it's, it's, it's good to, you know, uh, connect with them. Uh, and uh, to, just to give you an idea about the chapter's activities, uh, we organize professional development events for uh, members which qualify for uh, ICI CPERs. Uh, 
uh, and of course, uh, due because of the COVID, we mostly have webinars. But uh, ICI has been a great support, and uh, they ha uh, have uh, provided the CPR even for webinars. Uh, we also encourage our members to deliver some sessions on topics of their choice. So basically, what we are trying here is to uh, help our members, you know, build the confidence in uh, public speaking, and uh, you know, develop the presentation skills, which which is obviously very important uh, for employers, like. You want to show the employers what you're capable of outside of your uh, normal uh, jobs. Uh, we also have a mentorship program for our members, uh, especially for uh, newly immigrated Indian CAs. Uh, you know, we help them settle down, help them in the job search, uh, uh, networking skills, uh, interview tips, uh, review their resumes. So you know, it's like an overall package. So so if if you come to Canada and if you, if you think you're you're pretty lost. Uh, we are here for you, you know. Uh, we also developed a job portal where uh, members who are employers, so we have both types of members, right? Uh, people who are hiring and people who are looking for jobs. So this, this portal actually helps uh, both types of members. Uh, so like say if I'm an employer, I would just post a, a, a job on the portal and uh, people who are looking for a job can just apply online directly and I'll get their resumes. So, and we also have a resume portal where uh, members can post their resumes and uh, potential employers outside of the chapter. So we, we do have uh, employers looking at uh, resumes of our own uh, members. So that's another good thing uh, where uh, we, we try to uh, do away with the HR process and like the employer can directly meet with the, uh, the potential candidate. Uh, and of course, I also see a few questions uh, regarding the CPA, the visa requirements and all. So we have uh, put together a CPA FAQs on the Toronto chapters website. And there's a section on useful links, uh, uh, which, which uh, you know, provides all uh, uh, about the, the government benefits and uh, uh, recruitment agencies and everything. So like once you, if you get a chance, you know, do visit the website and uh, you, know, you can go through all the details. Uh, we have also partnered up with uh, some organizations uh, so that our members can enjoy some special discounts. Uh, we publish an annual magazine uh, with the members directory. So you can connect with uh, uh, the members directly. You, you know, you have their names and uh, uh, the other details. And uh, of course, we encourage our members to publish their articles in the magazine. Like uh, two years, uh, I, I published my own article about my journey uh, from India to Canada. So. So, you know, the chapter gives you opportunities to, uh, you know, write about yourself, uh, publish and uh, get recognized. So that's, that's what we want, right? Like uh, we as Indians, especially Indian CAs, you know, we want to get recognized more in the Canadian market. So that's, that's where the chapter helps our members to uh, do the same. And uh, we also publish the names and photos of uh, uh, our members who pass the C fee. So every year in the magazine, you, you'll see the names, the photos of uh, people, of our members who, who passed the CP. Again, again, another thing to, you know, for recognition, which, which you can definitely probably show to uh, the employers and you can, you know, post on LinkedIn. <clears throat> uh, uh, and uh, of course, I think I didn't mention about LinkedIn, but that's a very, very powerful tool for professional networking and, uh, you know, Obviously, you'll find people who may not be open to network over LinkedIn, but uh, majority of the people are very helpful. And, uh, you know, you should just be active on LinkedIn. You know, if, if you have some good articles, just post it. People, people are uh, there to, you know, read about uh, stuff about you or your work. So, you know, just don't, just don't wait for uh, anything. Just use the, use the platform uh, to the fullest. So I, th I think uh, that's about it from me. Uh, um, uh, I would like to you know, thank again, Ira and Michael for giving me this opportunity and uh, thank you everyone for patiently, patiently listening to me. Welcome to the past video on living in Canada. My name is Michael Levy and I'm a co-director of the PASS program, which prepares students for the Canadian CPA exams. The video which you are about to watch is intended for Indian CAs who are interested in immigrating to Canada. The video will give you a taste of what it's like to live in Canada. 
This video is an excerpt from a larger live presentation delivered to Indian CPAs and deals with living in Canada from both a personal as well as a professional perspective. Among other things, it deals with job prospects and salaries you can expect to earn in Canada. The video was delivered by Dweep Mehta, an Indian CA who is now both living and working in Canada. Dweep has been very involved in the Indian CA Canadian community. He is the past chairman of the Toronto chapter of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and is currently serving a three-year term on its managing committee as a director. Dweep has completed his Canadian CPA and was a former student of PASS. Dweep begins his presentation with a description of his experience with PASS and then moves on to discuss what it's like to live in Canada. I hope you will enjoy this video. <laughs> 